HMS Prince of Wales is a Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carrier commissioned in 2019 and is one of the most advanced warships in the Royal Navy. It forms part of the UK's two-strong fleet of carriers designed for versatility with an expected service life of up to 50 years. In 2025, it is leading Operation HIMAST, a deployment to the Indo-Pacific, highlighting its role in global maritime operations. The question of HMS Prince of Wales taking on both Chinese carriers implies a hypothetical scenario where the UK carrier must counter the combined air and naval power of the two Chinese carriers, likely in an open ocean combat context. The most significant factor is the aircraft carried. HMS Prince of Wales operates the F-35B, a fifth-generation stealth fighter with advanced avionics, sensor fusion, and multi-role capabilities. The F-35B can perform air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground strikes, and electronic warfare with stealth reducing its detectability. In contrast, Liaoning and Shandong operate the J-15, based on the Soviet Su-33, a fourth-generation fighter without stealth features and limited multi-role capabilities. The F-35B's superiority is evident in its ability to operate in all weather conditions and its advanced sensor suite, which provides better situational awareness. In an open ocean scenario, the F-35B air wing would outperform the J-15, giving HMS Prince of Wales a significant advantage. However, while HMS Prince of Wales can carry up to 48 F-35B, the combined capacity of Liaoning and Shandong, about 48 to 60 J-15, means numerical parity. The quality of the aircraft, rather than quantity, would be decisive, with the F-35B's stealth and advanced systems likely tipping the balance. The Royal Navy has a long history of carrier operations, dating back to World War II and has integrated its carriers with NATO and Allied forces for decades. HMS Prince of Wales, commissioned in 2019, has demonstrated its operational readiness. China's carrier operations are newer, with Liaoning entering service in 2012 and Shandong in 2019. While China has made rapid progress, its carrier crews are less experienced, and its integration with Allied forces is limited compared to NATO. This experience gap could affect coordination and tactical execution in a high-intensity scenario. Carriers do not operate in isolation, but as part of carrier strike groups. HMS Prince of Wales is supported by escort vessels, such as Type 45 destroyers and Type 23 frigates, and notably, an astute class attack submarine, which enhances its anti-submarine warfare capabilities. The astute class is considered one of the best attack submarines globally, and Chinese ASW capabilities are not yet advanced enough to counter it effectively, potentially disrupting Chinese carrier operations. Liaoning and Shandong also operate within their strike groups, with escort vessels and support ships, but their ASW capabilities are less developed, making them vulnerable to submarine threats. This asymmetry in support assets could be a critical factor in HMS Prince of Wales's ability to engage both carriers. Engaging two carriers at once is a complex and high-risk scenario. The primary method would be air combat, with HMS Prince of Wales launching its F-35B fighters to engage the combined air wings of Liaoning and Shandong. The F-35B's stealth would allow it to approach and engage J-15 with reduced risk of detection, potentially achieving air superiority. It's worth noting that China's carrier program is rapidly advancing. The third carrier, Fujian, is expected to enter service soon, and a fourth, Type 004, is under construction with nuclear propulsion. Additionally, China is developing the J-35 stealth fighter, which could eventually match the F-35B's capabilities. However, as of 2025, these are not yet operational, 
maintaining HMS Prince of Wales's current edge. HMS Prince of Wales can theoretically take on both Liaoning and Shandong due to the superior capabilities of its F-35B fighters, the Royal Navy's operational experience, and support from an astute class submarine. The technological and tactical advantages, particularly in air combat and ASW, give it a significant edge. However, engaging two carriers simultaneously is a complex and high-risk scenario with outcomes depending on aircraft numbers, pilot skill, and the operational environment. The United Kingdom plans to have 74 F-35B fighter jets by 2033. The UK currently operates 34 of these stealth aircraft. The planned increase to 74 is part of a structured procurement strategy, which includes completing the delivery of an initial batch of 48 aircraft by the end of 2025 and adding an additional 27 aircraft in a second tranche, known as Tranche 2, by 2025-2033. This expansion aims to enhance the UK's carrier-enabled power projection capability, particularly for its aircraft carriers. While the UK originally committed to procuring 138 F-35B over the life of the program, there has been uncertainty about the final number. In 2021, a UK Defence Command paper revised this commitment, indicating an increase beyond 48 without specifying an exact total, and the first Sea Lord estimated a final fleet size of between 60 and 80 aircraft. However, more recent plans, as reported in 2024, consistently point to 74 as the target by 2033. Although a February 2024 report from Jane's suggested a recommitment to 138, practical delivery schedules and budgetary considerations under the new Labour government suggest that 74 remains the most concrete and achievable figure for the coming decade. Thus, based on current plans and authoritative sources, the UK will have 74 F-35 fighter jets by 2033, 